if I can recall, you know, walking the halls at LSIC, I never would have thought that my preparation in junior ROTC would influence this. I never would have thought me start serving on the student council and prom committee and being active never would have influenced this. So it's definitely a pride, but I hope to model to others that we all don't have to leave. Um, and that if, who could we be as a community if we came back and we invested our education, our talent, all of our genius, and we opened our businesses there and we purchased our homes there and we started business and we hired there. My name is Tiffany D. Thomas, one of your Houston City Council members representing District F on the west side, the best side of Houston. And I live in Southwest Amy, Texas. So not only am I the city member representing District F, which includes A Leaf, West Chase, Briar Meadow, Westmont, Tangle Wild, and the historic Piney Point, which is a Freedman's town. Um, I'm also chair of housing for this city, and housing and community affairs is a very critical uh, service line for the city. Um, under that committee, it's housing, uh, veterans affairs, homelessness, uh, so very large citywide issues. And so um, I chair a committee, we meet every month, we talk about everything from disaster recovery to the work we're doing around homelessness, to the work we're doing around those experiencing HIV and AIDS, um, to those still experiencing impacts of Harvey, um, funding housing development for multifamily to single family, uh, and also the work we're doing around veterans. So, you know, most people don't know that city council is actually a part-time job, it's a part-time role with full-time responsibilities. And I will tell you the responsibilities, they do not stop. So I have a full-time job and I have been teaching at Prairie View A&M uh, University since 2017. Um, and I enjoy that tremendously. And the good thing about it is that the, the discipline I teach in community development directly aligns with the work that I do in District F and directly aligns with my chairmanship as housing, the chair of housing and community affairs. And so oftentimes I allow my intro students to come and actually see what their local government looks like because this is their city hall. This is your city hall. And I always try to put them in front of decision makers so they can understand and um, the curriculum in front of them will prepare them to do a few things. One, it could take, take my place, right? Because we always have to make sure that there's a pipeline after us, but also secondly, um, to prepare professionals that are ready to address the issues around economic development, housing, disaster recovery, um, so that we can build, build and create our own, that we don't have to go recruit talent and genius from another city to come run our departments, but we can cultivate the genius in our city. Consider a leaf. Uh, you know, if you have a negative experience about your neighborhood, give us another chance. Um, there's so much work to be done, and I, of course, cannot do it by myself. I want to be able to collaborate and co-create a new experience in our neighborhood, and. Uh, I think we are about to experience a renaissance, especially when you look at the development of the center. There's Hope Clinic is doing a wonderful facility there and what's happening on Beach Nut and Bel Air, but there are other corridors in that neighborhood that need attention. So if you have a nonprofit, a group, a service organization, or you just simply want to get involved, please allow my office to um, co-create with you um, on what that looks like so we can change the story. Um, and let people know, you know what we're doing in Southwest Ailey, Texas.